Game development in assembly language. Up until now, we've essentially just made squares move around. Um, and ideally, we'd like to move it based on keyboard input. So WASD or the arrow keys or something like that. And so it turns out that when you're doing it the way that I'm doing it, which is as an operating system, um, as you can see, uh, this is code running in the bootloader. So as an operating system, um, you have to write your own keyboard driver. And the reason I am doing this is because I have another project making a low level programming language for the purpose of building operating systems. And so I'd like to know how this stuff works. I don't pretend to be an expert on this. Um, it's something I'm still learning. And that means you make mistakes. And that's kind of exactly the point. You want to make mistakes because it sh makes it much more clear to you why things are the way they are. OK. <clears throat> so in order to get keyboard working, probably a good idea to be able to test it. So let's go ahead and disable um, disable all the stuff we were working on earlier by commenting out. And now when we uh, start it, uh, we'll just get, yeah, text is back. And you can see the BIOS. And it's booting from a hard disk. OK, booting from floppy. So we are on an operating system, which also means um, you can run it on any operating system that can run Kimu or other emulators. Um, I have not tested with anything other than Kimu, though. So. Sounds like my kitty cat has something to say. Kitty. What? <clears throat> you have something to say? No? Okay. What's up? You need out? Cat wanted outside. Okay. So where was I? Um, because Kimu runs on all platforms, that's probably the best for tutorials. So people don't have to like be using Windows or be using uh, Linux or something like that. So, and that's why I'm building it as an OS. So I already have a keyboard driver written that is written poorly, and I'll be showing you why it's written poorly. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over that code. And um, we're going to be going through it. OK, so we're just going to call this setup keyboard interrupt. And we're going to call it here. OK, now let's get rid of the comments. Because we're going to be changing some stuff around. So first of all, I actually think that Zor is a faster operation, or supposedly it's faster. So we'll probably just do Zor AX AX. Okay. That's one thing. Another thing, we don't need math here. It's a bit odd. And another thing is that I'm not sure. Okay. ES, right? is zero. We've moved zero into ES. Then why don't we just use, you know, zero here? There, is, there, is there a real reason for that? Maybe there is. I'm not sure. We will test. And we will find out in this tutorial whether that's there's a reason for that. Um, but 0x24 is the equivalent. OK, so this should be 24. Um, and this is 26. So my comment was wrong because nine times four, okay, is 36, all right? And you can kind of extract from there that like, why do the math each time that this is called or why do the math at all? 
Maybe it makes it more clear that it's nine sets of four bytes, but I think it's better just to have the reference because it avoids confusion. Anytime I can make something simpler, I will make it simpler. That's kind of a rule that I have. Okay, so this is the setup, and it references a keyboard handler. This is also another label, and this is kind of like the timer handler. It's going to trigger every time the keyboard is pressed. So we'll put that here as, um, let's see, yeah, just keyboard handler and give it a colon because it's a label. And then we need IRET for interrupt return. And we need that same um, interrupt finished code that we have here, but for it. And we also need a call for, um, and I'm not sure what to call it, call a uh, keyboard, uh, yeah, keyboard event, I guess. So we'll just copy that over. Keyboard event, ret, normal, normal return because we are no longer inside of an interrupt. Oh shit, I skipped around. All right, now, we want to be able to see whether or not this thing works. So inside the keyboard event, there's a couple things that needs to happen. Okay, first of all, this needs to have a tab so that it's legit part of that label. Um, and the keyboard event that we want to do is we basically, a value is getting moved into uh, AL, essentially. And we want to show what that value is. And the way that that's done is actually really simple. Um, it goes in the keyboard handler and uh, you do this. So this means, okay, so in is essentially getting input from a external thing. So like a keyboard is a device. So it's basically a device. And there's other things you get for it. It just, you know, like you also get it from the timer and whatnot. It's just something external to the main processing of the, the, the CPU. I don't wanna go into too much complexities. So. And this basically says, okay, give me the key when it's pressed. And then what we want to do is we're going to call this keyboard event. And, you know, we could put this value somewhere else, but that's okay. It's not that important. What's important here is that we go ahead and, and um, we'll, we'll call it right, um, right, let's say, uh, character. We'll just say right char, I guess. And we'll we'll call that okay, we need to set the we need to do essentially a print. So it's it's an int x10 um 0x so a, not an integer but a interrupt. And we need to have it so that um you know this sort of uh interrupt is set to write and I believe that is move ah 0 x 0 e um, that's I'm trying to go off of memory so I could be wrong and then we need a write okay so keyboard event happens we're gonna write char um, and we're gonna call the right char okay so let's just see what happens okay so we got text here if I press the keys aha so we are getting um, values in however they're not they're not keys they're just key press key codes I guess now in order to sort of map them to a, a, a key code in fact here let me start this again and, and show you okay this is me pressing down W and when I press up you see that little character and then I press down E and I press up and it gives me a different character. So there's a key down value and there's a key up value. Um, so we need a key down event and a key up event. So we're gonna change this to say uh, key up and we'll call uh, key down. 
Okay. So we get the value in, we call the keyboard event, and now that this is changed, we'll say uh, key down because obviously if you're getting an event, it is either a key down or a key up, and we can test for that. So the way you do that is with test, and test is kind of complicated. I, I don't know that I like using test. I may change this code later because test does, it clears out a bunch of different flags and then it moves values around. So it's not exactly clear to someone learning what's happening. But I know this works because I've done it before. So we're gonna do what works and then I'm going to reconsider later whether it needs to be recoded. Okay, so we test on the, uh, for 0x80, yes. Okay, so, and then we do a jz for uh, jump if zero. So if it's zero, we're jumping to uh, dot key down. So I'm actually gonna put key down as a label. Um, and that label will call um, that label will call um, call key uh, down. Okay. And then we'll also do a done because I want to make sure that, yeah. And a key up. Um, actually, the key up will happen. Let me look at my notes. Um, key up happens. Yes. Okay. So key up happens if the jump doesn't happen. Um, and so this ending of uh, yes, it needs to go down here because that's the end. So inside of done, this needs to happen. And then we'll have, we'll put some thing here, key up, it's a note. And then um, GMP done. Okay. Now you'll notice when I do this again, we shouldn't, we should have a key down called. So this is actually jump key down. So we don't need to call key down here because we call it here. So remove that. But we do need a key up called here. Okay. So what you'll notice happen is, okay, both these right charts except for key down does not. Okay, before we just had one keyboard event, now we have two, one's writing, one's not. So I'm going to show you, I'll tell you when I press and then, yeah, and then I'll release and you'll see, uh, theoretically, okay. So I'm, I'm pressing and then key up, press, key up, press, key up. Okay, so it only goes on key up. Okay, so now let's remove that from key up and we're gonna put it in key down. And let's see, let me zoom in on these a little bit. Uh, well, actually it's probably high enough. Okay, well anyways. And now when I do it, um, you'll see that uh, if I press W, we go, and then there's a key up. Okay, but there's no value that comes in after. Okay, so, and then when you do both, of course, um, yeah, you, you get the idea. Um, I'll show it anyways because, yeah, so. Yeah, a little character goes in. Okay, that's W. Now, we want to move the rectangle when you press a key. But it's probably too much work um, for one video to write an entire keyboard driver because right now we just have the very basics. Now I did want to test this thing so probably a good time to test it now is if we just um, instead of doing this thing we do um, Zor ES uh, ES Remove the AX, I don't even know why that would be there. Example code I found online probably was another, you know. Okay, let's find out. Does it not like operand? Hmm, so there is a reason for it. You cannot Zor the ES. Okay, so, but then that begs the question of why have this at all if it's just zero? So is there another reason why I can't do that? No, I 100% I can do that. 
So we've simplified my code a bit, and I'll have to work on my uh, low-level programming language called Phi, which this is in a subfolder of the project, but it's just part of the learning experience. Um, so that that will come in a later video when I actually update Phi again with the new code, and that means that this probably I'm guessing that this is good now. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've completely misunderstood, but it seems to work. So, um, and that's okay. It's good to be wrong because you learn things. Um, always trying to be right means that uh, you never get to learn beyond the scope that you're given examples for. So, all right. So keyboard driver is like halfway done. We have a box. Okay, we don't need to be in text mode. Okay, so we can go back into um, into video mode, and we can go back and, and and add the timer and the and the drawing back in. But we don't really want to write the character anymore because um, not a not a lot of point to. In fact, I kind of want to just test it and see what happens because I forget if it actually tries to write something or not. Oh, it does. Okay, there you go. It, it sort of prints text um, into the, I guess, the text buffer, which is, you know, that's interesting and, and whatever, but I, I kind of, I can leave it for now, in other words. It's perfectly fine. It's working with other stuff. Um, but what we really want to do is we want to make it go up and down with the, the SQY value, probably. So I think we will... Um, do this where I just copy this and we'll say um, we'll just call it move box um, down I guess so we'll move that to EAX um, I think we'll just subtract EAX and three return and probably push EAX if we're, you know, e, yeah, pop E um, AX. Move box down. Okay, so we'll just move box down on the key down and key up on both of them. No idea what will happen, but in theory, uh oh, label, oh, oh, oh. Call. Uh, call. Yes. Okay, so let's press W. Okay, move box down. Call move box down. Push here. Okay, why? Oh, wait a moment. Why is never used again, is it? <laughs> yeah, no, draw box is called move EAX. Oh, oh, we don't reset it. Ah, we don't assign value. Well, not reset, but assign value. Okay. Oh my. Oh, that's right, because we're only drawing, um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're only drawing um, a partial, we're drawing basically the last rectangle as black to, to clear it out. So I'm thinking in the next tutorial, I'll probably clean up the, the drawing code a bit. Maybe add something like draw line or draw pixel. Um, but we do have a, keyboard input. Um, I do need to to have it determine what key is being pressed. Um, so there may be two videos instead of one, um, but that's where I'm going to end it for now.